Hello everyone, this is Human Hard Drive, and uh, well, I know it's been a while since my last video, but uh, I'm back now, and I've got a whole bunch of new videos ready to come out, and I should be coming out with a video pretty much every other day, so be looking forward to that. And I know I'd started with the Netduino, because when I'd started doing microcontroller tutorials, all I had was the Netduino. Uh, but now I've come into possession of an Arduino, and so I thought we'd start talking about these. Uh, so here we have an Arduino Uno. Uh, I've been made aware that uh, as I make this video uh, several, well, I guess at this point months ago, uh, Arduino Uno Rev 3, that's the third revision, has come out with um, an IO ref pin broken out and a secret pin broken out, as well as the... Um, SDA and LCL pins for the I2C communication broken out so that you'd no longer have to use uh, A4 and A5. Uh, this is the Arduino Uno, second uh, revision. Uh, an improvement over the Arduino Duimulio, uh, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Um, they've removed the uh, FTDI and replaced it with an AT Mega, I believe it's 16U2, um, for uh, USB to serial conversions. Um, the upload speeds on this are surprisingly quick. Uh, I've done one of the biggest files you'll upload to this is probably say for the or well, for any shield libraries and it uploads the uh, orders of magnitude faster. Um, it's still powered by the AT Mega 328 PPU. Uh, the form factor has stayed the same. They've kept with the shield design. Uh, you got your reset button and onboard LED so you can get started doing some blinking and that's pretty much it for this board uh, as a as compared to the Netduino this is an AVR microcontroller as opposed to the arm running at 16 megahertz as opposed to the uh, Netduino's 42 or 48 I think it's 48 um, so it is slower but it has a much bigger going to call it a fan base, um, development group, um, packer group, if you will. Um, so the support on this is much greater. Uh, another tech spec is this uses 5 volt logic as t opposed to the Netduino's 3.3 volt logic. So depending on the board you're working with, you might have to keep that in mind. But other than that, it's uh, pretty much the same as the old uh, Arduino and almost the same as the Netduino. You do have with this with the new serial converter, you can actually use this uh, as a you can make this show up as a USB protocol device like an HID, like a mouse or a keyboard. So we'll get into that in later videos. So this has been the Arduino Uno looking at this. Thanks for watching.